from farm families. I come from the Smiths and the Fielders over in Harford County, <coughs> those some of the biggest farms in Harford County, and from the the Yannies and the Brochards up in Sullivan County, Pennsylvania, who own more acreage than I, I, I I'll never see, it's not coming to me, but I mean, <laughs> I come from big farm people. So, I mean, it's not that I have anything against farming. I have a little farmette, and one time, yeah, I had more chickens, but right now I got a daughter who loves horses, so that's her thing, and she does a good job at it, and she tries really hard, and we try to be good neighbors. And that's all we really expect out of our farm neighbors. And I know they want to be good neighbors, and I want to be good neighbors to them. And I'm going to tell you, this has torn our township apart. <coughs> and I'm ready for this stuff to end. And I'm ready to have somebody go, we're going to stand up and we're going to say no to the state and tell the state, you can't make us turn our neighbors into enemies against one another. You know, the laws need to be changed and we need some heroes. We've got a few, we need a few more. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you, Laura. Anybody else have anything? Can I just have one quick, and I promise I won't be long. I would like to address the farmers and say, in my Cleveland Township, I have stood openly and said, we are not against the farmers. We respect their rights. Whether or not I agree with the way they raise their animals, in CAFOs, KOs, AEUs, anything, I respect their right to do so in an agricultural area. They don't belong in the residential areas. Mm -hmm. Now, your solicitor has been quoting law, and he's going down through state law. And I would like to ask, of all the laws you have quoted, sir, where does the Pennsylvania Constitution come in? Doesn't that trump all the other laws? Will they guarantee the health, safety, and welfare of all of its citizens? That's true. In our air and water. And I, I, I have two comments to make to what you're telling us. And one is to attempt to, de to litigate with the goal of declaring a state law unconstitutional is going to be enormously expensive. Now, when the oil gas thing was done, there was a large number group of municipalities together that funded that bill. But you don't, it is not cheap, believe me. They, that will go all the way to the Supreme Court. You will have to take a lot of litigation, you will take a lot of testimony, a lot of discovery. It will be very difficult and very expensive. And the same with declaring that, uh, and that, that is funny, and then also the idea of proving that CAFOs are inconsistent with the public health and safety is a very difficult and expensive challenge. You're going to have to have a lot of testimony, you're going to have to hire a lot of experts, uh, and you know, I wouldn't be too optimistic about how that's going to come out. Maybe it would work out, but if it did, it would be many, many dollars down the road. And you know, the goal is to, you know, try to minimize township expense. Now, I mean, of course, obviously, the more we litigate, the more I get paid. But, you know, I'm not trying, I, I just don't think it's in the interest of the township to undertake this massive type litigation, particularly when, you know, we probably won't win. You know, it's very difficult to overthrow a state law. Well, Dan Gill, well, you're, you're talking idea. about you're talking about zoning in a residential area. You're not talking about not letting CAFOs exist. No, no, anywhere. wait a minute, wait a minute. But you can zone where certain things no, happen. No, wait a minute. But you said your prerequisite was that the basis for this is that the state laws that two things. One is the state laws that permit or direct that normal oper agricultural operations can occur anywhere <coughs> is unconstitutional, that's number one. And number two, your second premise is that this is covered because these operations are not consistent with the public health and safety. Now there are two separate parameters I would agree, but to prove either one of them is going to be extremely difficult and costly. Well, I still think Let you me can zone. Right. 
that type of agricultural operation out of a residential zone, and I'll bet you you win in any court. And this specifically deals with this, with what you're saying, because well, I have... Did I recognize you? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right. <laughs> we, I have an attorney who has dealt with experts and has volunteered, volunteered all his services to help you. Table it. Talk to him. I believe he's not in Pennsylvania. He is not he licensed has, to practice in Pennsylvania. He, Ed Ciambole is. The one okay. that you identified before, I yes. think, was from Kansas or something. Right, and he's in Pennsylvania now, and Ed C. and Bully is a Pennsylvania. He is equipped with experts. He has been doing for decades. Oh, they are volunteering, and he has offered multiple times, so it will not cost you. It will not cost you, and you have the best in the business. Take All it right. on. I don't, I'm going to take one more person, and I see the hand up. She's been patient. <laughs> Real tight. Um, why can't can't you, the supervisors, find out other municipalities or townships that are having this fight or close to it or something like it, and get together and see if you can come up with a class action suit? Uh, and I'm every law firm has must provide pro bono services. I used to work for a big law firm. Uh, I don't know how, how many hours or anything, but every law firm must provide that uh, to up to some point. Can that not be um, undertaken? Can't you investigate that and, and do it as a class action lawsuit? If you have to go across the country, I mean, you know, CAFAs are going in all over the country. And, and, and the more people you have, the less expense there will be per municipality or whatever. All right. Thank you. Sam, yes, I, got, I got to put my mouth back in. <laughs> oh, you make it I've been involved with CAFOs and the development of ordinances concerning CAFOs since 2002. Close, okay. I can't cite it exactly. The township, after the involvement of the Planning Commission, has never been against a farmer having a CAFA, Correct. okay? The issue lies with the township on regulation and the enforcement. As a result, we have the ordinances we have. The issue before the supervisors right now is not the CAFO or its ordinance. The issue before the supervisors is whether or not they're going to pass <coughs> Section B of the amendment, which basically allows a CAFO in any zone. And that, the Planning Commission itself, the Peach Bottom Planning Commission, voted for that not to be passed. All right. Thank you. Now, I'm going to close this hearing. We're going to discuss this and give our opinions. Who wants to go first? John. <laughs> Do you want to go or you want me to go? You go first. All right. All right. We close the hearing. We open our regular supervisor's meeting. And I have listened to everybody. Everybody has concerns. And it, I understand it's the fact of in the residential zone about allowing CAFO. And I can't see it'll, any CAFOs being in the residential zone, but there could be some adjacent to it. And for that fact, I am not opposed to the ordinance, and I would vote yes on it, and that's where I stand. Didn't you have to recuse yourself? No, wait, 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 you're, you're done. done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Janet, do you have any? 
input? Um, I've heard what all of you said, and I have a comment for the audience before I start what, what my feeling is. And I'm disappointed some of you don't listen to the others, where many of you sit very quiet and listen very patiently, and then there are others who blurt in and, and cut your nose <coughs> off, and I'm really disappointed in that because one of the things I wanted to do when I got in here was to bring the community back together. So I'm real disappointed that you, some of you don't pay attention to what everybody else is saying, at least consider what, what they have to say. So that's my speech to you. Now, my speech on this is, um, I too don't see where it could fit into the Susquehanna Trails because of the lot sizes and what's there left to be built on. I also remember the day that the Susquehanna Trails was plopped down into a farming community. So maybe the residential area is sitting in the farming district instead of the other way around. Instead of them the so the so the I was there when they were building that. <laughs> I hate to admit that. Um, I don't I don't see an issue with this as written because of knowing that it there is no place there to put it in the trails. My turn. Yep, your turn. <sighs> December. <laughs> A long time. Uh, too long. <laughs> as far as our township, I don't have a problem the way it's written. However, as far as the two ladies that I heard from Northern Pennsylvania and also the supervisor from Shrewsbury, I can see that where there's ramifications because Peach Bottom is not, is not the only township that has residential zoning in. And in that case, if, if we are the first domino to fall over, will it have an effect down the road in different parts of the Commonwealth? So that bothers me. And I don't have a problem with anything in that ordinance except for the part that says you can put a residential zone. That I don't like. And I don't know, maybe I've been around Susan Buckley too many, too long. Thank you, John. But I'm tired of, you know. She's calling all the shots. But Thank I, you, John. You know, for the, for the most part, I... I have a problem with the CAFO in the residential zone, whether it be Peach Bottom, but Fawn, Shrewsbury, Lower Chance, for it, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's the Commonwealth, and I, and I, I can't vote for that ordinance with that provision in there. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Take the provision. I only vote for. Remember the <laughs> I'm going to make a motion that we adopt the section 202.3, 298, and 501. Can I ask just a question? No, I don't no, want to make no, a motion. No, no, no. This is You're done. You have all hands. <laughs> uh, I've made a motion. Do I hear a second? You're a second. All those in favor of the motion that we adopt these uh, sections, give their consent by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Two to one. So we're adopting them. And we'll sign it into. You're despicable. Let's have consequences, and I will work to put you out of office. Anyone who gets sick will be on your hands. Well, I'll be your 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 I